In this lesson I will show you the most important WordPress settings. So you want to go right here in settings section and let's start with general settings. In this section we don't really need to change much but there's like two important fields, the site title and tagline. So let's give a title to our website and our tagline should be relevant to our title. All other settings are good as they are by default. They are not very important. If you want, it's, uh, it's completely up to you. You can change date format, time format, and all other settings. Like you can change it. You can even change the site language. So yeah, once you have added your site title and you gave a tagline for your website, just go down and click save changes. In writing section, we don't really need to do any changes. Everything is good as it is by default. And we can move on to reading section. Reading section as well is not very important. We are not going to do any changes for now. Uh, later on, I will show you different homepage display settings. Uh, so what is the difference between your latest posts option and the static page option. But for now, we can leave it as it is. We don't really need to change anything. And we can move on to discussion section. And discussion section is actually everything about Comments. So I know it might look confusing because there's like a lot of different settings, but actually you can leave it as it is by default. You don't really need to do any changes unless you can check this section. So only logged in and registered users will be able to leave comments. And uh, I would say the most important section is this comment blocking. Eventually you will start getting spammy comments. These comments are going to be shown right here in comment section. And uh, yeah, you'll have to delete them, but you can add these comments to block list. Usually when user or bot leaves a comment, there's always added such information as name, URL, email address, and IP address. So if you find any spammy comments, just add IP addresses right here, one IP address or email address per line, and just click save. So right here in discussion settings, this section block list I would say is the most important one. We can go to media settings and in media settings everything is good as it is by default and we can move on to permalink settings. So this section is the most important of all settings because by default it's set to plain and it doesn't do any help for our search engine optimization. Uh, basically the link is like a nonsense so you want to change it to post name because you will have better chances to rank higher in Google search results. So once you have changed it to post name just click save changes and we can move on to privacy settings and all you have to do in privacy settings just select privacy policy page if it's not selected yet so later on i will show you how you can generate your own privacy policy for free and we will be editing this page which was created by default we will add our own privacy policy so if it's not set just select the privacy policy and click use this page uh, in Lightspeed cache settings, we are not going to change anything because everything is good by default. And as I mentioned you before, this Lightspeed cache plugin will help our website to load a little bit faster for our users. So yeah, these are the most important settings which you should pay attention when you are creating your WordPress website. Basically, there are only two very important settings. The first one is a couple of fields in general section. And the second one is the most important one is permalinks settings.